This video demonstrates how you can dynamically launch screen flows. What that word dynamic means here is that you don't have to hardwire it all in. You can add additional screen flows later without changing the original basic master flow. One of the, there are a couple of different parts to that. One of the parts is adding the ability to select the flow that you want to go to next and let the user do that. That's kind of a new thing. We usually, in the past, kind of tell the user exactly where they're going to go. A subflow is a way of telling the user, you are now going to this subflow, this other flow. But here, I provide the user with a pick list of flows that they can choose from. Uh, this is a mix of some general flows that ship with every org and a couple of flows that I've added myself, get cupcakes process and get ice cream process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these and I'm doing this with a screen component called flow list or flow picker uh, that you can install into your org. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, when I launch that get cupcakes process flow dynamically, how do I want to launch it? So in this case, we're going to let the user decide, do they want a new tab, do they want a new window, or do they want to completely replace this master flow as if it was a seamless transition? Uh, so you get three choices there. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll keep it on We'll keep it on open in a new tab. So let's hit next. Now what's happened up here is that a new tab has been opened up and the new screen flow has been launched and I get to carry on. I can actually go back uh, to my original master flow which in this case is restarted because it's just a very simple flow. We'll take a look at that in a second but let me show you that I can launch a different flow dynamically. I can say let's do ice cream process and let's do that in a new window and there I have my ice cream process in a new window and finally if I want it to be more of a seamless transform then I can say well let's do get, get cupcake process but let's replace the existing flow with the new flow. So here you can see that it just changes, it gets rid of the old flow and moves you straight to the new flow. Now in this example, what's going on is we're using a couple child components to make this work. If we open up the screen, you'll see here's the flow picker, flow list that I mentioned. So this is an installable component. It's a very simple component. It actually just makes a query and says what are the flows in the in the org and puts them into a pick list. Uh, but you can now do that without any code. Just drop it right in. Uh, and here I'm using a pick list and I'm gathering the three values. New tab, new window, and replace existing. Uh, and what I'm going to do with those is I'm passing them to a flow action called open URL. So this is the latest version of a flow action that you can also install very easily. Uh, and it basically is responsible for taking any URL and launching it in one of those three modes. So you can see that it's getting passed whether you want to use a tab, a window, or an in situ replacement, and you can pass it any URL you want. So we're passing a flow URL. So how are we getting this flow URL? We'll do it with a formula. So this formula is a little complicated. The piece on the left is a piece that returns the org that you are in, uh, and it's a little complicated, but it, if you just paste it in, it gets the job done. So it's returning this HTTP up here, this URL. And uh, my base domain, and then I'm adding flow slash, and then I'm putting the name of the flow from that came back from the pick list. Uh, and we can see uh, what that looks like. Let's just put this little, put this little text console back in line run this again. So you can see that all I'm doing is I'm taking, you know, I'll take this one. That formula is basically assembling 
this URL, which is the standard URL for launching a flow. Uh, so that's all we really have to do is pull this together. So this flow uh, that contains all of these pieces, uh, which, uh, which include the, uh, the flow picker component, the open URL flow action in that little formula is also is available as a package that you can install into your org to get all of these pieces and uh, experiment with using this to do dynamic flow launching. Good luck.